everyone and welcome to our exercise classes. Um, so today we're going to be doing some exercise and you will need some things to participate in our exercise. So you'll need a chair, preferably with arms. If you haven't got that, then that's okay, but just make sure it's nice and sturdy. You'll need a toilet roll and like a folded up pair of socks to throw and catch and preferably some weights, but if you haven't got weights, you could use two tins of beans or a couple of 500 ml bottles of water that are either half full or full, which is your choice. And a drink, so you can have a bit of a breather. And if you've got a step, a step, but if you haven't, don't worry. So from a health and safety point of view, just do what you can, don't push yourself too much. Um, you can always do more the next time you decide to participate in the session. If you've got poor balance or mobility problems, use the back of the chair to help support yourself with the exercises and take regular rests during the exercise and don't exert yourself too much. If any of the exercises cause you pain, please stop and rest. If you become unwell or feel dizzy or out of breath more so than normal, remember to take a rest and have a seat if you feel that you need to and stop and you can always continue after you've had a bit of a breather. Okay, so we're gonna start with our warm up. So the idea is coming forwards in the chair, having a nice upright posture, and we're gonna start with our head and work our way down. So to begin with, we're gonna turn our head to the right and then back to the middle. And to the left and back to the middle. We're gonna take our right ear to our right shoulder and back to the middle and left ear to our left shoulder and back to the middle. Nice and slowly, chin to chest and back up. We're going to look up to the ceiling now. But if you have any problems with your balance or your ears, just take it nice and gently and back down. Chin to chest and then we're going to go nice and slowly round and round. And then we're going to go back in the other direction. Just getting some nice gentle mobility and stretches in our head and our neck. Good. Okay. We're going to do some shoulder shrugging now. So we're going to do five. Good. And then we're going to do some shoulder rolls. So forwards. Two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to go back in the opposite direction. Three, four, and five. We're going to have a nice stretch up, reaching up and over to the side, nice and slowly and gently, and back. And again with the other side. So we're doing each exercise on both sides. We're going to do a tricep stretch now. So arm out straight, take it across and give your arm a little bit of a pull. Alternatively, you could put your arm behind your neck and give your arm a push. Good. And slowly again with the other side. Again, pop it behind your neck and give your arm a push. Good. Hands by your sides, reaching down one side and back, and again with the other side. Good. Hands on your hips now, we're going to twist round to look behind you. Good. And the other side. Now, this is where we warm up a little bit more and do some marching. So, high hips and knees, get those arms forwards and backwards. and relax. We're now going to do a knee extension exercise. We're coming forward from the back of the chair. Nice posture. Leg out straight, toe up towards you and relax. Same with the other side. Good and relax. Hamstring stretch now. So leg out in front, heel on the floor, reaching forwards and relax, and the other side. Good. Wriggling back and getting nice and comfy in your chair now. Both feet up, 
pointing your toes and back towards you. You can do them together or you can do them separately. Five of each. And then we're going to go round one way. Two, three, four and five. And back in the other direction. Three, four and five. So this is our balance and proprioception. So we're going to start by standing and we're going to do side stepping. So stepping side to side. If you've got space to move side to side more so than just one step, then do so. The idea is that you're spending more time on one leg. So to make it harder, you can lift your hips and knees higher. Otherwise, you can just do nice side stepping. Add in some arms if you want to, but you don't have to. And relax.
So standing up again, behind our chair, I'm gonna do slow marching. So you can either have hands on the chair this way or you can stand sideways. And we're gonna do nice and slow marching. Lifting that hip and knee nice and high and nice and slow. Again, the benefit of this is so you're standing on one foot for longer, working on your balance. Your balance is not too bad. You can just do it with your hands on your hips. Well, that's something to work up to. Keep breathing, nice and slow. Nearly there, keep going. And relax and take a seat and have a break. So in standing, we're going to do weight transference now. So feet slightly over hip width apart. We're going to weight transfer left to right and you're almost just tapping your toe. You don't have to tap your toe, you can just go side to side. But to challenge yourself a little bit, tapping your toe. Keep breathing. And to make it harder, you can actually really slow it down because you're then not using momentum. Keep breathing. Okay, you can just mix it up a little bit. A minute and a half feels like a long time sometimes. Nearly there.
good and relax and take a seat. Okay, so we're going to do our step ups now. So stepping up and down, and we're going to swap when we get halfway. If you've not got a step, you can just step forwards, forwards, back, back, and then swap when we get halfway. I'm keeping an eye on the timer. So we'll, we'll tell you when to get ready to swap. Keep breathing. Again, you're blowing out as you're doing the work, the hardest work, which is on the up. Okay, so we're halfway, so we're going to swap and go up with the alternate leg. Again, you can go as fast or as slow as you want to. Good. And sit and relax.
So again, come forwards in the chair. We're going to lift our arm up and down. So it's coming forwards and leg up and down. So nice and slow. We'll turn it. Keep breathing, keep that core strong. And it's all about slow speed with balance work. It's not about getting it done as quickly as physically possible or quantity, quality. Keep breathing. Let's so opposite arm and leg, nice and slowly. And relax. So coming forwards in our chair, we're going to do some core stability exercises now. So knee extension, holding it for a short time, keep breathing. Making sure you're not leaning back when you're doing it, you're keeping your nice, tall, stable posture, sitting on the edge of the chair. It's more of a challenge. Nice and slow. Okay, so now we're gonna do marching. Nice and slow, either have your hands on your hips or your hands in your lap. Just lifting out the hip and knee. Good, and relax.
So next we're gonna do throwing and catching. So feet hip width apart. This is where your toilet roll or your folded up pair of socks comes in handy. So you're just gonna throw and catch. You're gonna throw, you can, I don't mind how you throw. The idea is that you're challenging your balance. So you're changing your center of gravity and your base of support. Good for hand eye coordination as well. Keep breathing. It's actually a minute and a half is quite a long time. You can do from side to side as well just to give yourself a bit of a breather. Keep that core engaged as well. And relax and take a seat. So next we're going to do our calf raises. So we're going to stand behind our chair, hands on the chair, going up onto our heels and back down. Nice and slowly. Imagine you've got a string pulling you up from the top of your head. So you're trying to go straight up and down without moving forwards and backwards. Keep breathing. Just take your time, rest if you need to. You can to challenge yourself, just use one hand. 
you can swap. Good, and relax. Okay, so now we're going to do our hip abduction. So in standing, behind our chair, we're going to take one leg slightly out to the side and back in, and the same with the other side. Toes pointing forwards and up towards you. Again, it's a very small movement. breathing and this is working some of your bottom muscles and the muscles at the side of your thigh this is something you can do whilst you're waiting for the kettle to pour on Nice and slowly. Try and keep good posture and relax.
Okay, so in standing, we're going to do hip extension now. So again, behind your chair, you're going to take your leg slightly out behind you, keeping your knee straight. Just a very small movement, so you're not arching your back. It's all coming from your hip and your bottom muscles. Good, keep breathing. And relax. So in standing, behind our chair, we're going to do a single leg stand. So you're going to stand on one leg, bending your right knee at a right angle and back down and swap into the other side. Keep breathing. Nice and slow. Hold it for a few seconds before swapping. And relax.
Once we've finished our exercises, we do our cool down, which is exactly the same as our warm up. It's coming forwards in the chair, having a nice upright posture, and we're gonna start with our head and work our way down. So to begin with, we're gonna turn our head to the right and then back to the middle. And to the left and back to the middle. We're gonna take our right ear to our right shoulder and back to the middle and left ear to our left shoulder and back to the middle, nice and slowly. Chin to chest and back up. We're gonna look up to the ceiling now, but if you have any problems with your balance or your ears, just take it nice and gently and back down. Chin to chest and then we're gonna go nice and slowly round and round. And then we're going to go back in the other direction. Getting some nice gentle mobility and stretches in our head and our neck. Good. Okay. We're going to do some shoulder shrugging now. So we're going to do five. Good. And then we're going to do some shoulder rolls. So forwards. Two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to go back in the opposite direction. Three, four, and five. We're going to have a nice stretch up, reaching up and over to the side, nice and slowly and gently, and back. And again with the other side. So we're doing each exercise on both sides. We're going to do a tricep stretch now. So arm out straight, take it across and give your arm a little bit of a pull. Alternatively, you could put your arm behind your neck and give your arm a push. Good. And slowly again with the other side. Again, pop it behind your neck and give your arm a push. Good. Hands by your sides, reaching down one side and back, and again with the other side. Good. Hands on your hips now, we're going to twist round to look behind you. Good. And the other side. Now, this is where we warm up a little bit more and do some marching. So, high hips and knees, get those arms forwards and backwards. and relax. We're now going to do a knee extension exercise. We're coming forwards from the back of the chair. Nice posture. Leg out straight, toe up towards you and relax. Same with the other side. Good. And relax. Hamstring stretch now. So leg out in front, heel on the floor, reaching forwards and relax, and the other side. Good. Wriggling back and getting nice and comfy in your chair now. Both feet up, pointing your toes and back towards you. You can do them together or you can do them separately. Five of each. And then we're gonna go round one way. Two, three, four, and five, and back in the other direction. Three, four, and five. 